happen. Johnny is not in on it, but we definitely know that she's living multiple different lives, talking to different people as different people. So, Kiara, what do you want to do? Because obviously you haven't talked to her in three weeks. You could leave it alone and just walk away and just be done with it. You could confront her about it and see what she'll say. Uh, obviously, we're encouraged to try and get through to her and maybe help her in some way to stop doing this. I want her to get help. <laughs> she, she needs to get help, but she keeps doing stuff. I, I want to hear her. Like, I want to hear what she has to say. Right. Gabby's been trying to get in touch with you. Maybe the best way for us to do this is for you to just text her. You got this. You can handle this. Oh my God. So wait, so what does it say? I said, if you want to confess everything to me, then join the Zoom. Strictly business. She's asking if I'm the only one in the Zoom. Well, tell her, no, I've got some friends with me. Why hide? She's been doing a lot of that. We're not doing it. And if she joins, we can see what she has to say for herself, give her an opportunity to admit the things she's been doing. And if she is honest, then she can just explain herself, so. You, did you send that? Yeah. So what's up? Is is does she say she's coming in or? I just told her to stop stalling. I was like, because if you ever love me, you should give me the answers I need. Oh. Gabby. Hey. Hi. Hi. Obviously, you know Jeanette and you know Kiara. I'm not sure if you know me and Cami. We got involved because the profile that you are associated with might have been fake, and so here we are. We've got a lot of questions, but before we get into that, we just wanted to give you an opportunity. Others might not give you that opportunity, but we thought, let's see what you have to say for yourself before we start asking questions. I better just go with the questions for now. All right, so tell us what went down with you and Jeanette. Yes, I was talking to Jeanette. As Patrick and with Kier. Her problem the whole time was that I wasn't really out there with her. It was a form of validation for her. Um, so, my, I'm confused. So you pretended to be Patrick to get validation for my cousin? Yes because I'm not really talking to anybody about our relationship. Nobody knows about it. So you made the Patrick profile so that it would appear as though you had told your cousin that you were open about your relationship with Kiara? Yes. Then why create this fake cousin and carry on a romantic relationship with Jeanette? I guess I was just going with it. Um, oh, you, you, it was you. You weren't going with it. You, you made it. You said to Kiara, we should set my cousin up with your cousin. And, and then you yourself, as Gabby, showed Jeanette pictures of Patrick and kept telling her how great he was. Like, you really made that happen. I shouldn't have done it. It was just there laying around and... What complete bull because you've done it before. Have you ever done this before? Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, I just talked to a girl once before behind a fake profile, but once. Yes. Okay. So, Neve, do you want to come out with it or should I? We're just in a position now where Kiara is giving you an opportunity to come clean. But before we tell you about all the conversations that we've had with people, I'm going to give you one more chance, even though you definitely don't deserve it, to drop the act and say something to Kiara because you broke her heart 
and I don't even know why she's even giving you a chance to talk to her, but you've got one chance. And so far, you're blowing it. You're talking about the current situation with Jeanette and Kier? Listen, Gabby, I'm gonna do you a solid and let you know we have spoken to multiple people. We have names, we have timelines, we have all the information. And so it would be in your best interest to be honest and cut the We know Chris, we know Patrick, we know Miranda, we know Samantha, we know Brittany, we know Sarah, we know her husband, we know everyone. So it is now your turn. Why don't we start with Sarah? Do you know who Sarah is? Yes, I know Sarah, but I don't know the other people. Okay, that's a good start. There's a male voice that's been talking to Sarah and her husband at least five to 10 times. So who is that? It was just a random guy. The same random guy every single time? No, it was two different ones. Okay. With Sarah, we just talked as friends. It was somebody who could pour out her problems to me and I could pour out my problems to her. But they weren't your problems because you were talking to her as Patrick. And we talked to other people who were in romantic relationships with you posing as a guy. I am really not sure about this, what are you talking about? Is that because there are so many? Because we know about you contacting the BMX writer to ask for the video of you pretending to be a producer of some kind of movie or whatever. I just need you to understand that we know already. It is your turn. This is your chance. Tell us the truth. I don't know this story. Like, I really don't know what BMX rider or what you are talking about right now. You don't know Samantha in Jersey? I don't know any Samantha. What about Miranda? And, and Brittany? I don't know any Brittany. I admit to the things I've done, but this three different kind of people and BMX rider and Samantha in Jersey City is just... No. So let's let maybe we can clear this up then. Why don't we why don't we bring some people into the Zoom so we can clear this up? All right. There's Samantha. Hi. Oh, and there's Brittany. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Hi, ladies. I don't know any of these people. You don't know these people, Gabby? I don't know no. either of them. No. You don't know me? I really don't. This is the first time I'm seeing you. Do you ever Christian Wagner? Do you ever Patrick Arnell? How dare you? But I don't know you. Yeah, like... we all know it's you. And there's so many of us. There are so many girls who have so much information on you and all the phone numbers you've used and what you've done to people. Like, just own up to it so you can go on with your life. And Brittany? You don't know Brittany? I don't know Brittany. You don't know Brittany? I met you face to face and you had an attitude the second that I met you and then you made it your life's mission to try to make my best friend hate me. So to sit there and say that you don't know me when I literally <laughs> sat 10 feet from who you. Who is your best friend? You know who, who my who best, friend. best friend Who was your roommate, Gabby, that wasn't allowed to go hang out with your best friend, hmm? Gabby, we're talking about Miranda. My best friend. And I'm the one that figured out that Chris Wagner was fake, Gabby. When Miranda and I did more research, we found other girls that had been victims going back as far as 2012. So this has been going on for many, many years. I don't know you. I don't know you. I have all of the messages from you, Gabby. I've saved all of them. The guy that you reached out to in Australia, he has the message you sent him. You're going to be in a movie asking him to portray this character saying my name. To me. He has it documented. I just want to give you one more opportunity, Gabby. Do you know Samantha and do you know Brittany? I know Sam and Miranda. Samantha, I I really don't know her. I mean, you're a liar. She may not remember you, Samantha. She's done this potentially to dozens of other women. I, you know, dozens maybe. Dozens of girls. Bye. Bye, Samantha. I just hope that you grow from this, and I hope you learn from this, and I hope you understand that when you hurt one person, you hurt everyone around them that cares about them. I understand that. Good luck to the other girls. I hope you get some answers. Thank you, Brittany. Not everything she's saying is true. That's the problem. That's the problem. You got Kiara sitting here, and she actually wants to give you a chance. But you need to tell her the truth. You don't, you don't know Brittany? OK, so I remember her now. She was the one who made a thread about me that I'm a catfish. 
I don't think she's the one who made that thread. There was already a thread about you and other people were on it. It's really easy for somebody to be attacking me out of anger or get their friend to attack me or anything. So all of these strangers, they have no connection to each other, but they're all just out to get you. What reason would they have to make up the same collective lie about you? They knew each other somehow. The two women who were on here do not know each other. They only know each other because of you. I did catfish. Miranda, yes. Okay. I pretended to be a guy so I can talk to her, yes. But Gabby, there are so many. But I don't know any of these people. Miranda was the only person. I truly don't know who Samantha is like. So randomly, Samantha has just decided that she wants to accuse you. It doesn't make any sense, look. You're not telling the truth. Like, so who is this guy that you were, you said you were covering for when Kiera went through your phone and found out what she found out about Patrick to tell Jeanette? Who's this guy? I didn't say that. No, you told Kiara that you were covering for a guy. Yeah, she said that at first before me leaving or anything. So now you're saying that Kiara is lying. I wasn't covering for anybody, no. Look, just so you know, Gabby, just right now, while we've been talking, Samantha just sent me a bunch of different phone numbers that she still has saved from the different guys, dating profiles that she talked to five or six years ago, okay? And I just searched those numbers right now, and one of them is registered to you. Here it is, I mean, is that your phone number? Yeah, it was when I lived in Jersey City. So how do you explain that Samantha, the woman that you say you have zero idea who she is, has a phone number for you that you don't use anymore? Just for fun. Everyone's just doing this for the f of it. No, but I, I don't know that person, like. Okay, Kiara, what do you want to know? I want the truth, but it's like, it's not even coming out. Like she knew my number back then from somebody. I don't know, but I don't know who that person is. Oh, there's more. She's been blowing my phone up with screenshots. Cause she's Piss. Right, so these are all like screenshots she's been sending of messages between her and different profiles. The conversation she had with that guy, Christopher who was the BMX rider. And here's a picture that mm, she photoshopped. A picture. Hi, Samantha something, you're the you're pretty, yup. I mean, that's like obviously phony. And that number that we know is linked to Gabby, like here's a screenshot of it calling her. Gabby, like what the I don't know who that person is. Like, I wish I did. This is your old phone number calling Samantha tons of times. That's the no... proof right there. You just right. saw the phone number. I don't know how much clear we have to get. Yeah, I don't know, but okay. told me who was so, she for so Sam. Look, I, bad, bad, I... Bad, 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 bad. Okay, look, I'm done with this because I'd like to try and help you, but I can't do that if you don't want to be helped. So Jeanette, you don't need to be on this anymore. I have like the answers we're looking for, but. Kiara, you can't get trust from her. There's a lot of other people out there that can give you that. You could do way better. Come on. You shouldn't even talk to her at all, but not up to me. Thank you so much, guys. You too. Take care. I know we've already helped Jeanette. She's gotten what she wants. Gabby, we genuinely are here to help you. And the fact that you are sitting here I and was... lying in every, uh, the fact that you are sitting here and lying in everyone's face and making everyone look crazy, that is just really messed up. Because when you're coming from a place of love and somebody meets you with bull that doesn't feel good. So if you do want to finally be honest with Kiara, that's up to you. All right, I'm done with this. We're gonna take a break, take some time, let all this sink in. Gabby, you need to think long and hard about what you're gonna say when you come back. Drop the act and say something real. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.